Oh, hi there, this is Miles with Light Harvest Solar. I just wanted to do a quick video about this uh, charge controller that we've been using. Uh, it's a Victron 30 amp. The panels that we use are typically the uh, industrial panels that go on houses. They're quite large, they're quite powerful. Uh, you need a 30 amp charge controller. And so on our single panel systems, we've uh, moved to this controller and the SRNE series. Uh, those are really the only two controllers we like a lot. There's a lot out there. Most of them we don't like for all kinds of reasons. But let me tell you a little bit about why we do like uh, this Victron. First off, I am a big fan of equipment that works when you hook it up. It just works. Uh, and the Victron immediately, as soon as we hooked it up, it works. There's not that many, uh, you know, frills and things to wonder what they are, to set and everything like that. It's simply a pa battery positive, negative in, and a solar panel positive and negative in. Uh, and I'm also really liking Bluetooth functions. Um, I, I had some batteries inside this. this. is my power box. It's kind of an impromptu power box I built to go camping and to test uh, different products. Uh, I had 200 amp hour lithium batteries in it. Um, and they were Bluetooth. I liked them a lot. I had some other issues with them, which caused me not to carry them. But I uh, just in here uh, installed a Lion Energy UT1300, and we've got a 2000 watt Kotec inverter. So let me just say a couple things about this inverter. Uh, Kotec is really the only brand we use sub 4000 watts for inverters. Again, they just work. When it hooks, it, you hook it up, it just works. That's all I want, particularly with an inverter. Um, not a million hours of programming, big thick instruction booklets that are a total nightmare to use. Uh, inverters are cons um, typically the lowest performing uh, in terms of reliability of all the components we use. When we find something we like, particularly with inverters, we stick with it. We only use Kotec. Everything else is a crapshoot and we just aren't willing to take it right now. So back to this uh, MPPT 30 amp inverter. Um, quite nice, it's got a 100, uh, 100 volt input range so you can put multiple panels together in series if you want to. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm really starting to enjoy Bluetooth because I want my data when I'm sitting far away from it. I don't wanna have to go up and look at it every single time, uh, try to figure out what's going on. Um, and it works really good. I, I'm hoping that uh, everything kind of slowly moves to Bluetooth. Um, the Bluetooth app on this is quite handy. It wasn't a huge pain to uh, download. There were, it wasn't the easiest thing in the world, but in the instruction booklet, it at least tells you how to do that. And a lot of them uh, are a real big pain to even try to figure out how to download a Bluetooth. Um, and like I said, there's not a whole lot to say about a piece of equipment that just works when you hook it up. Uh, as long as it goes, it works well, it's reliable. The app tells me a lot of information I wanna know. If I'm a, I'm a super big gauge geek, so I like to um, know exactly what's going on. I like a high level of programmability. Um, the price on it is, uh, you know, it's pretty good for what you get. Um, I prefer it a lot over like say the Midnight Solar Kid. Uh, I do use the SRNE controllers a lot and they've been bulletproof for me, but for the most part, I've, I've used a lot of controllers that do, just don't do the job. They just don't work. And this one just works. Uh, it's got a five year warranty on it. It comes with a nice instruction booklet. Um, we like it and uh, we tend to offer it as sort of an upgrade to our base controller. Uh, right now we're running a 340 watt Solaria Power XT series panel. We think they're the best there is. Um, that comes as our standard kit. We particularly like them for sprinters because they fit super duper nice. Um, and, and now they're up to 360 watts. So we can get a 360 watt panel up on a, a sprinter. One panel, not four 100 watt panels. Uh, they're much higher quality. They just work good. So uh, that's sort of the setup we have right now. Like I said, we're running a Lion uh, UT1300 in here right now. It's small, it's light. It allows us to move this around easily and it will cook food, which is the biggest thing. Boil water and cook food. 1500 watts is about what you need to do that. And that's what we can do. So this is a super nice setup and um, we're really excited to have the uh, uh, Victron as part of our product line. 
Uh, Light Harvest Solar, we build off-grid solar systems of all sorts. Get in touch uh, for your next project and we'd be happy to help you out. Thank you so much. Bye.